Tiffany, you are crying. Why, my darling? Oh, Ernesto, it's just... I've been with so many men. Have there been many? No. It will not matter if you have been with the millions of men. Well, you're getting warm. With other men, it's just sex. Random, trashy sex that goes on for days. But with you... I will finally make love. <sighs> oh, Nesto, I totally love you. I want to make men cheer. Yes, children. Put children in me now. Fuck me now. Ernesto, come on! Oh, oh. Yes, fuck me like a day laborer! Yeah, baby, take me from behind. Use me, treat me like a fuck machine! What? Yes, in the butt now! No, Tiffany, we must stop! So help me God if you stop, I'll rip off your dick and shove it in there myself! Tiffany, we're in a coffin! Shut up! You're ruining my fantasy! Tiffany! <gasps> Shit, my speech. Gracias, Ernesto. I love funerals. Kyle and Mark loved life, and that's why we're here today. My son was so proud of his homosexuality that he would want you all to know exactly how he died. My son rocketed off this mortal coil at 80 miles an hour down the Ronald Reagan freeway while giving the man he loved a blowjob. According to the autopsy report, as Mark began to bust a nut, Celine Dion's tour bus appeared, going in the wrong direction. Upon impact, my boys came together. And they died together, doing what they loved. Amen. <laughs> Kyle's best friend, Tiffany von der Sloot, has prepared a special tribute. I wouldn't call us best friends, exactly. This number goes out to you, Kyle. Mark, kind of sucks they're dead, huh? I remember the time Kyle pretended to be straight for my ex-boyfriend, Troy, who made him meet my pussy. And then everything went... Well, maybe it's not appropriate memory. And Mark, actually, I hardly knew you, but whatever, thanks for coming. <laughs> Here's a little ditty I learned in Girl Scouts. I had to look up the lyrics online. Come by ya, my lord, come by ya, come by ya.
Someone's praying, my Lord, come by ya. Someone's praying, my Lord, come by ya. Someone's praying, my Lord, come by ya. Oh, Lord, come by ya. Someone's praying, my Lord, come by ya. Someone's squirming, my Lord, come by ya. Someone's horny, my Lord, come by ya. Oh, yes, my Lord, come by ya. Oh, God, so hard. I just need to pray. I can give you a good deal on the rent. Oh, it's perfection. You haven't seen it. It's near my aunt. What more could I want? Well, it is furnished. And it'll be nice to have family around. Thank you, Aunt Helen. I just wish you and Kyle could have spent more time together. Did he know you were a Mo? <laughs> I, I didn't know I was a Mo until like a year ago. <laughs> Well, color me, Brittany. I always thought you were gayer than a midnight screening of Showgirls. I, I, I was one of those clueless gays. Everyone knew but me. So when did you finally get your man cherry popped? Aunt Helen, you don't want to hear about that. Of course I do. I wouldn't be a good aunt if I didn't. <sighs> 696, is that local? Well, I gave your number to that slut from the funeral, Tiffany. <gasps> oh, I love her. Kyle adored her. And, well, I thought you might need some new friends, even if they are loser whores. Uh, hello? Casey, Casey, Casey. Hey, Tiffany. How did you know it was me? I remembered your sultry voice from the funeral. Compliments will get you nowhere unless you're straight. And hung like Mr. T. Damn and damn. As I thought, your aunt tells me you need a job, so why don't you get your faggoty ass down to 4255 Hawthorne Lane? You are such a stud. I know. Where have you been sticking these things? <laughs> go on, go oh. get your tramp on. Thank you, Aunt Helen. Mm. I am the coolest adult in the world. Oh, Kyle. My little queen. Naomi, we do nails with release. No, I'm kidding. I mean, unless you're a really hot guy, are you? <laughs> well, I'm sorry you don't find my brand of humor. Well, I'm sorry I offended your Christian sensibility, but if you worship a guy who was hung on a cross, nails should be the last thing on your mind. Who needs customers like her anyway? Ral <sighs> Pongan. Let me introduce you to the girls. Pam, Candy, Connie, Ben, Dudia, Tom, Kwanzaa, Lakaka, Gay, Cow, Meadowy. Pom, good bye. Katoi, Chop, Katoi, Un, Guani. My, Bang, Kun, Chop, Dick, Pom, Pom. Aka, Guang, Guang, Lay, Hook, Song, Ton. Oh. <laughs> They said they can't wait to get to know you. Oh, cool. Uh, tell them I feel the same way. You got please. My me, Sarah. My son, yeah. Basically, you sweep up, take phone calls, and do whatever we say. Can you handle that? Is Madonna awesome? Okay. 
Well, the job's yours anyway, but there's one little catch. You have to come with me to this event thingy. I, I love event thingies. You try too hard. Come on. Right now? What about work? Fuck them. This a fuck you too. Hand. What are we doing here? I don't like places like this. Me neither, but every year they have this fundraiser where they auction off dates with shirtless beefcakes. Nudity and open bar. You're taking me to that? No, it's in two weeks and you're taking me. Kyle was going to, but you know, he's dead. So you're going to volunteer and get us free tickets. Oh, but I am so not a hot shirtless man. You're hardly a man at all. No one would pay for you. You're going to help out behind the scenes. Why would I? I gave you that job and I can replace you with an immigrant like that. Okay, okay, it's just I'm not into the whole gay scene. Welcome to the whole gay scene. <laughs> Are you kids here to volunteer? I'm not, but Casey is. Fabulous. Darling, you're shaking like a little chihuahua. Don't be nervous. I don't bite. Much. <laughs> He's never volunteered before. Oh, a virgin. Only if you don't count anal. <laughs> well, either way, fill out this paperwork, and then I'll have Zach, our volunteer coordinator, meet with you and figure out which position you'd be most comfortable in, so to speak. That is why I don't like these places. They're full of these old horn dogs looking to get laid. Jesus, lay off the Fox News. No, really. I, I always hear the gay community this and the gay community that. But all I see are a bunch of drunk assholes looking for sex who don't care anything about relationships. Excuse me, Maria, full of grace. But that doesn't sound any different than any straight bar. Drunk, sweaty men, drooling, groping, pressing their... <sighs> Manhood's all up against your supple ass on the dance floor. God, you are gayer than I am. Honey, I'm gayer than a Kevin Spacey Anderson Cooper chicken wrap. And what's wrong with that? Nothing, it's just, I'm disappointed at how sex-centric the gay community is. It's called homosexual, not homo hug you -all. What did you expect? Romance? I, I want to travel the world on scooters, adopt children. Children are just abortions that eat. You know what? Forget it. I am not signing that stupid... Oh my fuck. I see you got your paperwork. Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, let me sign it. <laughs> cool. Jonathan? Uh, Casey. Oh, I'm Zach. This is Tandy. I'm his best friend. Oh, that's so funny. I'm, I'm here with my best friend, Tiffany. <laughs> I'm more like your boss. Wow, best friends with T names. Uh, yeah, we should like form a club. <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta go take a shit. I'll come with. So you're comfortable taking off your clothes? What? Oh, I just assumed you were volunteering to be one of the studs in the mail sale. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm clearly not a, a, a stud. Are you a, a stud? I, I mean in the mail sale. Yes, I'm in the auction. But I sort of do everything around here. So, wow, wow. Um, how'd you get in, into volunteering? I'm running credit for this faggotry studies class, and it's a good way to meet people. A totally good way. Well, they look like they're getting along. I guess we have to pretend to like each other now. Wow, you're really good at it. What are some of your skills? Huh? Things you can do to help with the auction, since we can't sell you. Uh, um, well, well what, are, what are your skills? Brochures, visual stuff. I'm an art major, I designed all the posters here. I can't even make a, a smiley on my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> can you write? Does texting count? <laughs> Maybe you could write the copy for one of the flyers I'm designing. We could work on it together. I'd, I'd love to. Can I get your number? Really? Yeah, you didn't write it on your form. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Do you know the Blue Dahlia Cafe? Uh, yeah. Let's meet there tomorrow at four. We'll put you to work. Okay, well, uh, here's my number, and, and you can have it too, I mean, if you want. Zach! <laughs> Can we leave this dump already? 
You can feel the trolls sucking our youth away. Lionel, this is my boyfriend. Oh, uh, great. Me, you, talk in private, now. Excuse us. You didn't have to come if you're gonna be like this. You're the one complaining we never get to spend enough time together? Well, here I am. With your friends. Hey, we're letting you auction us off for this dump. Be grateful. Well, let's get out of here. I'm signed up for another hour. <sighs> I'll fucking cover for you. You don't have to do that. Oh, but I want to. Besides, Fleabag here gives me a rash. But I wasn't anywhere near your pussy. Get him the fuck out of here. Thanks, Tandy. See you soon, buddy. Yeah, sounds... Like that'll happen. He's sweet, nice, and hot. Of course he's taken. Nah, oh, he's just ass pussy whipped. They won't last long. Buddy. You know what, don't take it so personally. Why are we together? We don't even like doing the same things. <laughs> oh, we like doing the same things. Swallowing doesn't count. Swallowing counts? It's extra credit. It's been six months and I still feel like you're pulling away. Because you're always clinging on to me like that fucking detergent bear. What do you expect? You won't even call us boyfriends in public. You know you want me inside you. I know. No, I'm mad. I'm not happy with how things are going. I'm good at one thing. I know. We're great at it. Cling on to that anytime you like, Snuggle Bear. That's it, we're through, get out. Can I at least come first? Get out. Come on. Are you ready to say goodbye to this? I'll slam the door in it if you don't get the fuck out. You know what, good luck trying to find somebody as hot as me. I'm gonna come right here in your front door. Yeah, you know you were sure sucking this. Enjoy being a lone whack job. Found him. Wow, stalker much? Uh, what should I say? Uh, I'm a lonely psychopath that looked you up within an hour of meeting you. Uh, you're right, I should wait until morning. Then he'll think you obsessed about him all night. Don't you know anything about the internet? You're supposed to make a fake profile. What? Pretend to be a total random stranger so you can find out all his personal details. People are honest with strangers. My fake name is Titsy Montgomery. I could find out if he wants a serious relationship. I was thinking more like cock size, but whatever. You need the perfect fake picture, and I know the perfect person. Holy rim job, who is that? My incredibly hot ex-BF Ryan. He's a stripper. He was supposed to be my rebound after Troy broke my heart, but he has a good tongue, so I let him stay. Why did you break up with that? What if your boyfriend finds out? Oh, uh, we have an open relationship. Uh, we do? Ryan, <laughs> this is not what it looks like. <laughs> Neither is this. We had commitment issues. Mm. Anyway, he moved to Tucson, so it's totally safe to use his pictures. Why would I want Zach to talk to someone way hotter than I am? When's the last time you opened up to an ugly stranger? Besides, you just find out what you need to know, then Ryan will disappear. A fake profile is the perfect wingman. Okay. Okay, let's do this. What's my name? Ryan. Ryan. 
Do you agree to the following terms and conditions? Number one, gayspacebook.com. Agree, not... you nerd! Uh, you should really read these things. You never know. What are you? A pilgrim? I bet you avoid handicapped spaces. And vote. Favorite movie? The Roman Holiday? Of course. Straight acting or not? Put, I'm gay. Why should I act anything but what I am? Oh, you are scary good, girl. Come on, break up sex. You are a hottie. Let's hope you're next door, because I don't feel like driving. <laughs> Looking for. First, I want to develop something special with you, then we fuck each other's brains out. Perfect combination of romantic and nasty, right? Whatever, no one reads those. Just write them. <sighs> Yummy. Oh my god, it's him! What do I do? What do I write? Uh, write what you know. Well, in your case, don't. Uh, you're not helping. <clears throat> Gotta play it cool. Hey, that's so romantic. <clears throat> Kindly help a broken-hearted stranger with hours of meaningless sex? Oh god, yes. So, get to know me. Shit! Can he see us? No, my camera's not on. Oh. Likely story. So, ask away. <sighs> Thanks for starting off easy. I didn't want to put up with this shit anymore. You know how you tell yourself that it's gonna get better, and you know it's not, but you hang on to any little good thing he does as proof that it might get better? Then it was just the really hot sex. Yeah? How do you know what the little good things are? Okay, try me. You're an artist. I'd take you to a museum. You look like a basketball fan. Lakers tickets. Massage. Good bottle of wine. And little things like bringing you something to drink without you having to ask. Well done, Miss Cleo. What can I do to get you to come over here right now? Oh, strip. Date? You already know me inside and out. I think I'm in love. Wait, I know. If you don't come over... He is not! Here's what you'll be missing. Get out of my way! Ooh. Holy clay! Oh my god! Oh shit. I cannot believe... You spilled your sunny delight. How could you? You owe me a computer! And a boyfriend! He's a fake. No one can be that hot and that nice. It's against the laws of nature. Look at you. But he has tons of profile pictures. He has to be real. You still believe the Hills is real? If he was a fake, he would have watched me jack off. I just threw up a little bit in my pussy. <laughs> Mm. 
Maybe it's not a good idea for us to hang out? I don't believe you. <sighs> Zach's single now, so the reason we invented Ryan doesn't matter anymore. I mean, why keep up the charade? Why email him at all? Just disappear. You're still pretending to be Ryan, even if it is just to dump him. No, I'm just being polite. No, you're just keeping him and his pretty dick hanging on so you still have access to him in case he doesn't go for exhibit A. You're right. If he normally gets prime rib like Ryan, why would he settle for... Turkey burger? <gasps> Blew it. Mr. Fake doesn't want to meet me now. Because he's not real. It's because I came on too strong. Oh yes, gay men hate guys who come on too strong. He was trying to get to know me, but I went from zero to 69 like I always do. There are millions of other men out there who can fuck first and then fall in love. But I don't want millions of other men. I want him. Jesus Christ, my mom warned me I was turning into a fag hag. You're not a fag hag. Ugh, I'm gonna be a fat spinster whose only sexual outlet is sucking off drunken homos. You'd suck me off if I was drunk, right? <clears throat> My fag hag days are over. Now, separate the fingernails from the toenails. Ew, what? It's busy work. You still have 15 minutes left on your shift. I have to get ready for my date. It's not a date, Queefcake. It is a date. He just doesn't know it yet. My, my. Look who went and downloaded some balls. He might have seen Ryan's picture online last night. But he was talking to me. We have a connection. At least we will by the end of the night. Fuck, I've gotta see this. Panaya! Javai Fakuta! Iba! Sorry I'm late. Oh, no problem. I had nothing else to do. <laughs> Wait, that sounds bad. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You just moved here. I, uh, I, uh, I, I drafted up some ideas for the mail sale flyers. <laughs> I, I Google imaged you. <laughs> wow, these are great. Thanks for giving me extra abs. Those are yours and you know it. Thanks for the ego boost. I could really use one right about now. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry about your breakup. How did you know? Oh, uh, Lionel? He's a big fucking mouth. That's one of the reasons I don't like the gay community. <laughs> I think the gay community is more diverse than you give it credit for. Well, I think he's crazy for breaking up with you. I broke up with him. Sorry. <laughs> no big deal. He's not what's bothering me. I met this guy online last night. Ryan? Oh my god, you have never seen anything like him, and he was so totally into me until I blew it. You think you blew it? Yeah, I got too sexual. Fatal flaw. Well, if, if he was just a hot body, those are- It was more than that. This guy connected with me. He was smart and funny, and he knew me. He sounds too good to be true. <laughs> yeah, he probably is fake. I can't believe I'm telling you all this. I normally don't talk to guys about my social life. You seem pretty comfortable. You make me feel comfortable, Casey. Hey, maybe sometime you and I, we could... Oh my god, that's him. How do I look? Huh? How do I look? Uh, gorgeous. Uh, are you sure you want to... Wish me luck. Good fucking luck. Hey, Ryan1989. Hey, you. I was beginning to think you were imaginary, like a smurf or something. Nope, I'm all real. You can say that again. Mind if I don't? So, we're both here. You want to give us a shot and go out some night? Uh... <laughs> Ryan, look who's back. Don't they have stripper poles in Tucson? Tiffany, did you get a boob job? No, I'm still saving up. What's going on? <laughs> Casey, this is Ryan from the internet. You look so much better than your pictures, doesn't he? <laughs> 
Now, uh, how would Casey have seen Ryan's cute little disco boy picture? Oh, yeah. You mean my picture with the headband and the yellow gym shorts? Yellow mesh gym shorts. Rawr. And then there's that one where you're on the beach with some blonde chick and your bulge. Uh, yeah, Ryan loves nailing blondes. Yeah, but I love nailing brunettes, too. Brunette women. Ryan straight. We used to fuck. I took that picture. <laughs> he wasn't straight last night. Yeah, after fucking Tiffany, I just gave up on women. That happens to you a lot, huh? Oh, you little cum monkey. So, let's give this a shot. When do you want to hang out? This sucks. I just set up the hottest couple in the universe. Oh, when their hot, muscled bodies come together, they'll probably form like Voltron or something. He's lying. If Ryan's gay, I'll eat my own twat. Uh, what kind of straight guy goes on a date with another man? He was a stripper at a gay bar. He'd clean a toilet with his dick for a dollar. He's just trying to get back at me. Oh. Zach wants to talk to me about what they should do on their Barbie dream date because I make him feel comfortable. No smiley. <sighs> this is serious. Oh my God, you're like his bag hag now. Oh, I hate my life. Casey, great, you can do my back. Oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little ouchy, that's all. Ouchy? Never mind, it's fine. Good. Squirt me. Oh, okay. God, I'm as nervous as Isaiah Washington's hairdresser. About the date? Yes, about the date. He was so hot and cold at the cafe. Isn't he cute? I'm not really into guys that hot. Really? Okay, your turn. Oh, I'm not a taking off my shirt in public kind of guy. Don't tell me you have body issues. Take it off or I will. Okay, okay. You know, when we mere mortals are around gods like you, how, how can we not? Please, yeah. you have a great body. And besides, some guys like them not all exercised. Here. So what should I do on my date? You mean besides sex? I don't want it to be about sex. When we chatted online, he had all these ideas for great things to do, and I want to come up with some great idea, too. Okay, well, what's your dream first date? Wow, I don't know. I guess I really never thought about it. You've never fantasized about the perfect first date? I was too busy going on real dates. Asshole. Well, clearly someone's thought about it. Tell me yours, Romeo. Okay. We're in Italy. Well, Rome. Oh my god, are you serious? I'm obsessed with Italy. You are? Yeah, I've been wanting to go to Italy since I was like three. I'm going right after graduation if I can save enough cash. I've got like 3,200 saved so far. I can't wait to go. Someday. Well, I can't exactly take Ryan to Italy tonight, so... Do you got any dream dates that are a little more practical? Okay, well... My dream date, it's intimate. Like, uh, I make him dinner so it's personal. Yeah, something at your place, just the two of you, no distractions. Yeah, and maybe I'd have a fun theme for the meal. Italian. Perfetto. Some pasta, Pinot Grigio, some funky Italian music. That's all I'd need, because the best first dates, they're ones where the conversation's just really easy. And it flows, because you're both listening to each other like you're focused. And. There are those moments when you're looking into each other's eyes and wondering if maybe he's thinking the same thing. That sometime tonight, we're gonna kiss. Exactly. Kiss. Oh my god. What? You totally inspired me. I have the perfect date. Scoot. He's not gonna know what hit him. I can't thank you enough. Well, text me if you need help. 
text me if you need help. If you're trying to stop me, it's not gonna work. If you think going on a fake gay date will make me jealous, you're dumber than a flock of palins. I don't want to make you jealous. I just want to piss you off. You cheated too. It's not about the cheating. It's about you putting pubes in my protein powder the next day. That was nothing. They weren't even mine. And poking holes in my contact lenses. And putting crabs in my underwear drawer. And using my toothbrush to clean the- Okay. I'm a jealous woman, but at least I feel something. You're an emotionless stripper who uses Chip. And that's not gonna get you anything but a $30 bill shoved up your ass. You're fat. No. Have a good night. I know I will. Brian, right on time. Hey. Look, I gotta talk to you about this internet thing. I know, me too. Come on in. I saw on your profile that Roman Holiday is your favorite movie. It's also mine. So I've got a special little tour for you. Come on. As you know, when Audrey Hepburn sneaks out of the consulate, Gregory Peck shows her the sights of Rome. So here we have the Sistine Chapel, painted by Michelangelo. Italian wine. Next, we have an exact replica of the Trevi Fountain. That's pretty cool. And our last stop is the Mouth of Truth. You know the most famous scene in the movie? Uh, yeah. So, put your hand in its mouth, and if you're lying to me, it'll get bitten off. And don't tell my landlord about the hole. scared the shit out of me! Your hand's still here. I knew you wouldn't lie to me. You're an amazing guy, and I don't deserve you. I gotta go. Text me, text me, text me, text me. I love you, Zach! It's nice to have a friend who will listen to my romantic problems. I told you to text me if you needed help, and you did. And I'm here to help. Can you help me find a boyfriend? <laughs> oh my god! Is, is that the mouth of truth? Yeah, his profile said his favorite movie was Roman Holiday, so... You, you did that for him? It's stupid. <laughs> it's the most romantic thing I've ever seen. See? I'm telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, I actually had this whole Roman holiday tour. There's the Coliseum. I ate half of it. Zach, there's something I should tell you. I, I haven't been honest with you. I... Great, who's that? Oh my god, Ryan? Hey man, there's something I gotta tell you. Oh, did you tell him? Um... Tell me what? I, I was just about to. Of course you were. That wasn't me you were talking to online. Him and Tiffany made a fake profile and used my picture. What? I don't even have a profile. I'm not even gay. Zach, it's not what it sounds like. Did you pretend to be him? Yes, but it was only because I didn't want to look like a stalker, which I, I know I totally look like now. Wow, my first genuine conversation in years is with a total fake, and why? So you can fuck me? No, I mean, yes, but I mean, more than that, the things I said were true. Dude, if you liked him, why didn't you just tell him? And you let me take you on that whole fucking tour like some kind of idiot? Get the fuck out, both of you. <sighs> Zach, I'm sorry. I is that? Get out!
I was in the middle of telling him, you know. Sorry, man. It was a crappy thing you guys did. I just, I wanted to get his attention. You could have got it without getting all staccarazzi on him. With guys like you walking around? Even if I was gay, it wouldn't have worked out. He was less into what I looked like and more into what you said. Anyway, sorry. No, it's my own damn fault. Impress me. And if you're one of my gay friends and just had a bad date, I'm not calling you back for three days. Because I'm not a fag hag. Casey, right? Yeah. I'm Harry. <laughs> That's my name. Not that I am. Harry. <laughs> Honey, what's wrong? You look like Liberace after they put the seat back on his piano stool. <laughs> wrong generation. Never mind. You look like you could use some company tonight. Oh, I'm not interested. Oh, no. Darling, you're adorable, but you're far too young for me. Us in bed would be like teaching calculus to a preschooler. No, sex with men who have the maturity of an experienced lover. Mm. There's nothing quite like it. TMI. Pardon? Nothing. Let me guess. Some strapping thing has broken your heart. Is it that obvious? Either that or Miley Cyrus died. <laughs> See? I'm not that dated. Yeah, it's a guy. No. No, it's me. I was a complete jerk. And I knew it while it was happening, but I did it anyway. And now, I'll never get to show Zach what a great boyfriend I can be. Now I'll never even have a boyfriend. And I'll wind up alone until I'm all old and... Sorry. Oh, dear heart. There's worse things than not having a boyfriend. Like trudging barefoot uphill through five miles of snow just to find the nearest homosexual saloon. It was a joke. I'm not that old. You know? Well, now that was just not pretty. All I'm saying is, as dark as it may seem, I think your generation has it pretty easy when it comes to finding all the other fish in the sea. I bet you're thinking right now that the obvious solution is something that I used to do when I was trying to get over someone. What's that? Well, I used to think that a good roll in the hay would be all I needed, but I was wrong. Sleeping with someone to get over someone else never works. Casey, right? Yeah. Trust me on this, it never works. You wanna go somewhere and talk? Never. Sure. Strong, like drinking blood straight from Amy Winehouse's wrist. God, I'm glad I met you. Last guy I dated, Zach, such a fucking loser. He was a good kisser. Uh, kissing's overrated. How good was he? Incredible. He'd always start out the same way. Two pecks, then a dipper kiss. Followed by a bite to the lower lip. Oh. I repeat. Ow. Teeth back in. We should fuck. Is that your bed? I don't usually do that on the first day. Yeah, neither do I. Oh. Right behind you.
How can I hurt you today? We gotta talk. We have nothing to talk about. Five minutes. That's all I ask. You need to have an appointment. What do you mean? I thought you were gay for Zach. Come on, you know I'm not gay. <laughs> You know I was just trying to piss you off. Well, it didn't work, clipmonger. Yeah, so lagging. <laughs> My zing. Why would you want to help them? They seem like they actually belong together. And I messed that up. My god, you have feelings? I thought your forte was cheating and homewrecking. You cheated too. He wasn't inside me yet. We both fucked up. But this is our chance to do something right. Oh. Tyra moment. Foot. Let Nova talk tea. Here, here. How do we get them together? Zach clearly prefers to be with gorgeous people, like me and you. It takes a lot more than a gym and some cucumbers to make someone gorgeous. The point is, Casey isn't even on Zach's menu. Exactly. We're ordering from the wrong menu. We gotta go to another restaurant where Zach is and order the hot dog because we really just want the bun. Or we could trick them into a date. That's what I just said. Hey there, sausage. Why the long dick? Oh, it's you. Yes. It's me, the slut with the heart of shit. No argument here. I know. I'm sorry, I owe you a cocktail, or at least a hand job. You've done enough, really. Actually, there is something you can do. Find me an auctioneer for the mail sale. I'll do it. I used to run the auctions at my stepfather's dude ranch. Really? Yeah. There's a lot people don't know about me. Listen, you need to know the truth about what went down with Casey. Casey can suck my balls. Well, that's what he's been trying to say all along. You know what I mean. I know. Come on, let me buy you a drink later. You shouldn't be alone during this delicate juncture. Trust me, I've been there. Where is your fag hag anyway? Oh, come on, I'll sub for her. You can't sub for a best friend. You're gay and I'm a straight girl with big tits. Evolution has genetically programmed us to be there for each other, like the clownfish and the sea anemone. Now what do you say? Casey. Oh, hey. You, me, drinks tonight. No. What's up with you going out with gay guys? I wanna make up for screwing up your game. Oh yeah, I don't think a Pabs Blue Ribbon or whatever it is straight guys drink is gonna help. I'll put an umbrella in it. <laughs> awesome, I'll pick you up at six. Awesome. Oh ho, nang Casey Poo Chai Fu Fan Tumada. Di Gua Pao Katui. It's me. We're set. Great. Now be a good little stripper and do whatever it takes to get those boys all horned up and ready to blow. I think they care about more than sex. Oh, Jesus, you sound like a woman that isn't me. Of course they care about sex. Oh, 
But if they don't, that's what the alcohol's for. Well, you just show up when you're supposed to. Honey, I'm as reliable as birth control. <laughs> that's not 100%. Take it or leave it. Tandy, what's up, dragon lady? I got your non-call. Leave a fucking VM next time. You said you didn't want to hear about gay problems. Good point. Thanks for sparing me the Queerest Folk rerun. Where are we going? To hang out with my new friend. Remember that girl, Tiffany? The sluttier version of Tara Reed. You're hanging out with her? Well, she wanted to hear about my problems. I smell a rat. With fake tits. To all the boys I fucked and never called back. <laughs> That must be like 100. <laughs> like 10 years ago, maybe. <laughs> Here's to me catching up. So, this whole internet... Lie. ...performance was totally 100% my idea. Casey had nothing to do with it. But he's the one who chatted with me, right? Yes. But I practically raped him into it. So what he said, how much of that was him? Just the good stuff? <laughs> He's lucky to have you. Except for the raping part. To the raping part! <laughs> to the raping part! Shaving. That feels really weird. Assholes are like snowflakes. Speaking of pretty assholes, why were you dating that lion little guy? What, you've never dated an asshole before? Ew. Oh, honey, assholes are attracted to me like shit to assholes. And why did you stay with them? Exactly. I have the same problem. I can't say no to cock. Oh, you're fucking to the choir, dick. It just, like, blinds me, you know? Oh, we ripped out my taint. My turn. You know, Zach is totally into you. No, he's not. I need to give up and go for someone uglier. Not like... Michael Stipe ugly, but at least Rufus Wainwright ugly. I don't watch that show. But I've been watching gay guys for years. See, they don't think the strippers can see back, but we totally can. You guys' problem is, you don't even talk to each other. You're always waiting for someone else to make the first move. Ooh. I gave him my number. I, I volunteered for the mail sale. I took off my shirt for him. I stalked him on the internet. I made all the moves. But when did you tell him you liked him? You know, you could cheat on me, steal all my money, and kill my mother, but if you're hot, I'll make excuses for you until the day you leave me. Or certain gay. Or both. Oh, damn. All out of liquor. Let's get out of here. Oh, you can have that one. I got plenty at home. That pizza ought to be here any minute. Mmm, pizza. What if your boyfriend, Zach, was the delivery boy? You are such a stripper, and he's not my boyfriend. I gotta hit the head. Get the door for pizza cups. Uh, okay.
very bad boy. You have the right to remain sexy. Anything you touch will be held against you in the court of my Hit me with that pepperoni. Casey. Gotta go, you two working out, Mike. Damn it. Hey, Zach. Nice hat. Uh. Are they fucking yet? <sighs> Not even close. Is this gonna work? Trust me, it's science. If you leave two dicks together, eventually one of them's going to need sucking. Like prison. I'm really sorry about what I did. Who does stuff like that? People with no self-esteem? It's kind of mean. I'm sorry, it got out of hand. I just, I wanted to, I don't know, I, I wanted to meet you. You did meet me. I know. I'm just an idiot. It's not a big deal, it's over. This is the part where you fuck him. Oh, man, he just looked at you. Look back. The dick-sucking principle should take effect any second. Nah, I've seen guys do this at the club. They'll sit there for hours and never say a word, no matter how much they like each other. Well, go do something. There's nothing I can do. Except. What? Work my stripper magic. Stripper magic? When I see two guys doing this at the club, I'll get between them and make them put their hands all over me. Then I'll get out of the way and they're so worked up, they're all over each other. You're like a stripper Harriet Tubman. Exactly. Well, get to it, Harriet. The dogs are coming. Thank God, can we leave now? You boys sit right there. This party's just getting started. Let me show you some classic stripper moves. What the fuck are you doing? You guys are full of tension. And Rigid Ryan's here to release it. Now, both of you, make a wish and pull. You've got to be kidding me. Well, it is kind of an ugly shirt. Total H&M. <laughs> That's more like it. Ooh, free. Now, rip open Rigid Ryan's jeans. You're straight. We're just three dudes having some fun. Now pull. Are you hard? Maybe. Are you? Gotta get out of these pants. There's never a sexy way to get the jeans off. I don't know, that's pretty sexy. Your turn. For what? For your free lesson in exotic dancing. It's an actual skill, you know. I'm in. I'll watch. <laughs> no looky-loos, come on, under your shirts. With more confidence. A slow reveal. Good. Now, when you get to the last button, take your shirt at the collar and slowly peel it off. That's hot. Yeah. Now, pull your pants off like I did and lean forward like this. <laughs> come on, we're in our underwear. Zach, come here, take a side. <laughs> All right, well, uh, that was certainly fun. Now give me a lap dance. <laughs> How's this? You dance like a straight boy. You need to move them like this. You're all thrust and no grind. Casey, come here. Put your hands here. Feel this. It's hot. You know, you guys make a hot couple. Uh. Guys, I think I'm gonna... You're not gonna go when you're that hard. Uh... Uh... 
here. Shoot! Get away! I don't do the lesbian thing anymore. I knew this was gonna happen. You did? Get over here! Uh, what the? Ready for the Zack special? Uh, 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 help me. Uh, holy crap! Oh, yeah, I've never had two mouths before. Yeah, what if you do the balls? Oh my god. Uh. Uh. Why are you fucking with Zack? Technically, I'm watching them fuck with Zack. I'm breaking up that blow fest right now. Over my hot, dead body? That's what I was planning. Juice? A thousand dollars worth. <sighs> Guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Jesus, Mary and Jenna Jameson! I've never heard that without anything in my pussy before. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. You fucking bitch. Let me kick that pussy again. Tandy? Tiffany? Sorry I'm late. Woman things. God, I miss that cock. Are you okay? Kill the bitch. What the hell happened? I was trying to protect you. I appreciate it, but it turns out that everything is just fine. Better than fine. What, are you life partners now? I think we're... Thanks to me and Ryan and Ryan's friend. Zach, I have the perfect first date for us. Like your first date with him? You're just like everyone else. Fuck you! You're all assholes. I miss how we fuck. Rigid Ryan misses you too. Suck the gay off your cock. I hate the internet. You can use it for things other than sex. Like what? Well, maybe gay people can't. Speaking of trolling for sex, I can't believe Casey just slept with the first thing that looked at him. Ugh, I hate him. But in his defense, you did sort of reject him. So? Well, what did you do when Lionel rejected you? You trolled online, online for, for sex. sex. I hate that you're always right. It's like Jesus is my fag hag. Wait, sorry, I know you don't I'm like dealing me. with it. I'm your fag hag. Not a fag hag, your fag hag. Thank you, sweetie. 
But if I'm your fag hack, then you're my gay bitch. Gay bitch loves his fag hag. You better, bitch. I got a black eye for you. Casey? Honey? I'm moving back home. Can you drop me off at the bus station when I'm done packing? Now, I thought you were making new friends. Don't you like it here? The cheap rent, the beautiful weather, the abundance of gay ass. I turned everything into a big, wet mess. Oh, honey, it can't be that bad. It's horrible. It's like 9-11, but with sex. Like a 69-11. <sighs> You're horrible. Oh, honey, come on. Now, I don't know what kind of orgiastic kerfuffle you've gotten yourself wrapped up in, but I do know that when you run from your problems, the location might change, but your problems will be right there waiting for you. Only there you won't have cheap rent and this beautiful weather. What about the abundance of gay ass? Honey, you can find that anywhere. Now, come on. Tell your Auntie Helen all about your problem. I promise you won't shock me. Uh, okay. I pretended to be Ryan to Zach online, but then Ryan showed up and went out with Zach to get back at Tiffany. Anyway, I think Zach realized he liked me for who I am and not the way Ryan looked, but he never told me. So I fucked Lionel, who was probably just trying to get back at Zach, and then Ryan got Zach and me to give him a blowjob in order to get us together, and it actually worked. Until Zach got a video clip of me and Lionel doing it. So, Zach never told you how he felt? Yeah. And you're just gonna leave town without giving him a chance to? You're not leaving town, you fucktard. We have a date and I'm not running that auction alone. The slut's right. Don't pussy out on the U Center just because someone hurt your dick's feelings. Love her. Besides, when you run from your problems, the location I might change. I already got that speech. Well then what are we waiting for, come boy? We're gonna be late. <laughs> I smell an open bar. Get me anything with a whiskey and nothing else. Oh, good, you came. Oh my god, I did. <laughs> Zach, I, here's the stuff you need to say, don't bomb. What the ligament? That's LGBT. What's that? Jesus Christ, I have to get you to the green room. Zach, wait. I came to apologize. Funny, originally you said you were coming to support the gay community. You know the gay scene isn't really my thing. You know, for someone who talks down on the gay scene so much, you really go out of your way to represent the worst of it. Well, job for your thoughts? What do you want? Oh, come on. All I did was prove that the guy you thought was your friend is just a big phony. You should be happy. You thought that sending me your sex video would make me feel happy? I had to do something to keep you apart. Why? You know why. Say it. I was jealous, all right? Jeez. I knew it. And it wasn't just that. I could tell you were connecting with him. I want you back. Can you feel how badly I want you back, Snuggle Bear? I don't care how hot you are, I need more. Ooh, you're so deep. If it's deep to want someone who's gonna respect me and listen to me and inspire me to do things that I never thought I'd do, then yeah, I'm deep and you're too shallow for me. Good luck raising money for your charity without auctioning off my ass and my friend's asses. You wouldn't. This is for the community. Fuck the community. Lionel! Hello, hello, queers and wannabes! <laughs> Welcome to the 10th annual mail sale. 10th? I didn't think a gay could commit to anything for that long. <laughs> I'm Tiffany, your mattress of ceremonies. I love that drag queen. <laughs> Anywho, tap crap, tap crap. I'm sorry. I I don't Now's your chance to prove you're really here to support the community. What? Lionel and his friends dropped out of the auction. I need you and the strip master here to get in your boxers and let me sell you. Hey, take off my shirt on stage. I'm in. Uh, Zach, I'm sorry. This is more important than whoever you're sleeping with or lying to. This money helps support the Matthew Shepard Youth Program, the Matthew Shepard Reading Room, the Matthew Shepard Hotline, and the Matthew Shepard Homeless Synchronized Swim Team. Uh, uh. Finally, let's get...
get to the prostituting. Auctioning. <laughs> Bring out the meat. For our first stud, we have Lionel. Casey. Look at his rippling muscles and sexy. I'm sorry, this is for the guy we were supposed to have. <laughs> Look at his personality. Casey is an out-of-towner that enjoys cruising online for Zach, talking about Zach, and working at Naomi Salon, located at 4255 Hawthorne Lane. Call for an appointment. Take off your shirt. <laughs> OK. Now we're talking. Have you ever seen such? White flesh. Okay, let's get the bidding started. Who's gonna be first? $50, we got a $50 bid. Who's gonna give me a $50 bid? $50 bid, anybody? $50, $50 bid. $10. Bidding starts at 50, bitches. 11. Take off your pants. What? We are desperate here. <laughs> and while you're stripping down to your beautiful Andrew Christian briefs, why don't you tell us what the Matthew Chappard program at the center means to you? I used to think the center didn't apply to me at all. I thought it was just a bunch of old guys looking to get their rocks off. But a friend forced me to volunteer here, where I met one of these old guys face to face. Boy, was I wrong. He was a caring person, emptying his wallet and busting his ass to make sure that people like me don't have to go through the shit people like him had to. And he's just one of the dozens of people here trying to help thousands of kids like me. I started this summer feeling at odds with the gay community, but now I look out at your faces and I see a friend who will do anything to protect the people close to her. An example for me to aspire to. A bitch when you need one. A family that won't let you fail even when you've already given up on yourself. And a leader who can change the way we see each other and teach us about the things that really matter. And, and I, I couldn't be prouder to be a part of this. $100, two hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. <laughs> well, this is an unexpected surprise. <laughs> five hundred dollars. We have a five hundred dollar bid. Who's gonna give me six hundred? Three thousand two hundred dollars. What? Three thousand two hundred dollars. Not to be rude or anything, but. Bitch, do you have that kind of money? That's your Italy money. I don't need to go to Italy for romance. So! Look at that sweet <laughs> smile. You're precious. Huh? Ryan, 1989. You are way hotter than your pick. I'm so glad I stalked you. It's not as hot without your dick in the middle.
just for us. It is kind of hot. Broadcasting? What? 